Hi, I'm Andrea Jones with Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. Sportsmen and women have been trapping in Montana for centuries, but FWP recognizes that with a new wolf trapping season in place, there are going to be more traps and more trappers on the landscape. And we understand that this may be causing some concern to some pet owners. So in the following presentation, we hope to address some of those concerns by demonstrating how to release a pet from various traps and also provide tips on avoiding traps in general. Guiding us through these demonstrations will be FWP wolf specialist and trapping expert Mike Ross. Here's a selection of uh, leg hold traps, foothold traps that are currently being used in the trapping industry. And today we're going to demonstrate how they function, how they operate in the case that pet got caught in the trap and you needed to uh, release it. So basically we have the long spring traps, which has a long spring, single long spring trap, uh, double long spring trap, coil spring traps of various sizes. They are designed to, to hold the foot. They're not designed to crush the, the foot, the leg, not designed to chop it off. It's a foothold trap. So how it, how it functions is the spring needs to be compressed to allow the jaws to open. So if you caught, if you caught a pet in the trap, um, it would be caught like this, the foot would be in the trap. You would need to compress that spring to release the jaws to get your animal out. So I use the heel of my hand a lot of the times, it allows me to put more force and get things done quickly. So I'd use the heel of my hand push down on the spring on a hard surface, the jaws open, the foot comes out. So you can either use the hard surface of the ground uh, with your hand. You could also use the, your knee, compressing it on your knee to open it. Or if you're on the ground, you would just compress that with your foot and the jaws will open releasing the pet. Here's a double long spring trap, has two springs, allowing more holding capacity for a larger animal. Same con concept, it just has two springs, so you need to compress each spring. Again, use the heel of your hands to put weight down, compress the springs, the jaws open, the foot is released. You can also do it over your knee, compress it down, the jaws open or on the ground with your feet, compress the springs, the jaws open, the foot is released. And then we move into the coil spring trap, which has coiled springs, more compact trap. These levers operate the springs, allowing the jaws to open. So again, on a hard surface, using the heels of your hands, Compress those levers and the jaws open, releasing the foot. Um, you can do it on your knee, um, opening, or again, on the ground with your feet. Compress the levers, the jaws open. And then we get into the bigger size trap. Same operation, these levers operate um, the springs that compress the jaws. So on a hard service, even for a wolf trap, heel your hands on the levers and the jaws open. Um, you can do it again on your knee, it opens, and you don't have to compress them completely all the way, just part way, it opens enough to release the foot. So again, on the ground, you compress them and it opens. So you don't have to compress them all the way, maybe part way will get you enough to get the foot out. All right, this would be a snare type set that you could encounter. This would be on a pathway where an animal would move through and it's a neck snare um, designed so when the career moves through the snare, it uh, pops it off and then has a noose on its neck with a um, locking device. So how that operates, there's a lock on here that you would have to uh, move um, to get it off your pet. Uh, one good thing on the snares, most 
Most pets are leash broke, so if they get in a snare and it tightens down, they'll typically sit down because they're used to a leash and they don't typically fight the snare much. So it allows you to uh, get to the snare and uh, work this lock to open the noose to get them out. Another device, if you're a bird hunter or a pet owner, uh, worried about snares, you would carry a cable cutter or some not strong pair of sharp uh, cutters so you could cut the cable. You would have uh, this noose around your dog's neck. Um, you would find the cable and quick give it a cut and um, get that loop off its neck. Here's another type trap. It's a, called a conibear trap and it's designed to um, go down and compress on the animal like that. And I, design, I did this with the springs um, still attached so just for a demonstration purpose. Here is a sprung conibear trap and I'll show you how to quickly re release a, compress the springs with a dog leash. Um, if you did have a, an animal in the trap, its head would be between these jaws and you would need to compress these springs to, to release them. So a quick, if you had a dog leash or a belt, would be to put the loop of the dog leash over your foot, feed the leash through the eyes of the spring of the conibear, and double it twice and give a long, strong pull so you can compress the spring to hook the safety hook. One thing to remember is if you do get your pet caught in the trap, uh, more than likely it's not going to be the, the friendly pet that, you, that you're usually used to. It's probably going to be highly excited. So you need to secure your dog before you try and get the trap off. And the best way to do that would be to throw a coat over the dog, um, securing the head, covering the head and mouth, and then um, fish that foot, foot out from under the coat, get it free and then get the trap off as, as quickly as possible. If you're out with your pets and you have them on leash or on voice control in close proximity to you and you know where they're at and they encounter a trap and by these methods you know how to release it from the trap you can quickly get that pet out of the trap but if your dog is out running at large um, you don't know where it is and it's running way off trail and it encounters a trap, um, there's where you could have bigger issues because you don't know where your pet is and you cannot help them get out of their situation. For more information on trapping and all things fish, wildlife, and parks, log on to fwp.mt.gov.